Code to Irie AT, Braille and Innovation. Welcome to the Irie AT Training Center Tiger Software Suite Tutorial 3. In this tutorial, we'll be demonstrating how to input, translate, and emboss text with your Irie embosser. So there's a few different methods of inputting your text. Of course, you can open a Word document and your text will already be inputted within Word. And you can begin your translation from there. The second option would be to copy and paste text from another document, if applicable. And the third option, of course, would be to simply just input your text manually. That's what we're going to be showing you here today, as well as the Braille keyboard input known as QuickPaw. So as you can see, I have my Word document open, and I've got my cursor placed within my Word doc. So I'm going to simply just type out my text for input. Let's go with this is a test. Now, if we want to translate this, we're going to select the Tiger add-in from within the Word menu. When I do that, I get a bit of a sub-menu down below, and I get this Translate group. And from within here, I have two methods of translation. I can either translate selection, which is any text that I have highlighted within the document, or I can translate the entire document itself. We're going to go ahead and translate the entire document, and when I do that, it's going to give me the option to save this document prior to translating it. So I have a print version as well as a braille version. Let's go ahead and label this test page. Instead of keeping it on OneDrive, let's go ahead and just throw it on my desktop. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And as you can see, it has translated. So now we have not only a braille representation, of our text, we also have a print representation for visual reference. So of course, we can also add on to this if we like, simply by placing our cursor. Go ahead and hit space. So this is a test, let's go with page. I was just simply inputting braille characters with my computer keyboard input. I mentioned what if you wanted to do that with the braille keyboard input method. So I'm gonna go ahead and reload my original document by selecting that option. We'll go ahead and select Don't Save on this particular one. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this text within here. And if I want to start using the Braille keyboard input, also known as QuickPaw, I'm going to go ahead and go down to my search bar on my desktop and type out the word Quick, then Paw. Hit Enter. Now, I have the QuickPaw 8 dialog box that appears, and I have the ability to enable the Braille entry feature. I can also select the default keyboard if I want. I can switch it to six key as well. We're gonna go ahead and stick with the eight key option. Now, I do have to enable the Braille entry from within here, but I do wanna note that there is the ability to toggle the Braille entry on or off once it has been enabled. And that's important if you need to switch back from computer keyboard input to Braille keyboard input rather quickly. And in order to do that, you need to hit Control, Shift, and the F6 keys on your keyboard. I'm gonna go ahead and enable this real quick. And we're gonna jump back over to our Word doc. Now, I've got my cursor placed within my Word document. And in order to six key, I'm going to use the keys on my keyboard S, D, F, J, K, L for my six dot entry. And I'll go ahead and attempt that for you real quick. All right, let's try something. Let's try, let's see, C, A, T. All right, there we go. We got cat. Now, everything looks good. We're ready to emboss. We're going to go ahead and go up to file. Select print. Make sure that your braille printer is selected and your paper size is proper. Once everything looks good, select the print option and you're good to go. You have now successfully inputted text, translated, and embossed your text using the Tiger Software Suite for Windows. Thanks again for watching tutorial three on how to input, translate, and emboss text from within the Tiger Software Suite software. 
Make sure to check out tutorial 4 where we demonstrate how to translate both text and math simultaneously using the Tiger Software Suite. Also don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on our latest videos and content.